Maido. Hi there, Japan fans. In today's show, we're going to talk about complexity. Present o Master Shimasho. This is the fifth year of the Presentation Japan Series podcast. We are beaming around the world to you from sunny Minato-ku in Tokyo. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story, your corporate coaching and training guy committed to your success, the president of Dale Carnegie Training Tokyo, Japan, and the three-time best-selling author of Japan Sales Mastery, Japan Business Mastery, and Japan Presentations Mastery. My new book in Japanese, Za Eigyo, is now available on Amazon. Become a better speaker who is clear, confident, persuasive, and highly influential with those around you. Don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast with your family, friends, and colleagues. We are not being sponsored by Libsyn, but we value your privacy, which is why we have our podcast hosted by Libsyn, who, unlike many other podcast hosts, have a strict policy that does not allow access to your private information by anyone. Here is our daily podcast lineup on iTunes. Mondays, the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. Tuesdays, the Presentations Japan Series. Every second Tuesday, the Business Tatsujin no Oshie Show. Wednesdays, the Sales Japan Series. Thursdays, the Leadership Japan Series. Every second Thursday, the Business Pro Podcast Show. Fridays, the Japan Business Mastery Show. And Saturdays, Japan's top business interviews. This is episode number 274, 274. Today we're talking about presenting complex information. What is complex information? What is a complex subject? That really depends on the audience. If they are all experts in that subject area, then the presentation can and must be done at the same high level. If they are not knowledgeable on the subject, we need to avoid assuming too much prior exposure to related information and not use jargon and acronyms. There are varying levels of difficult themes when presenting. It is relatively rare that we have to present highly complex content in a standard business talk. Rather, this type of activity would take place at specialist conferences and at industry events where the audience are experts or at least dilettantes. This is usually an inform type of presentation where we are going to clearly explain a technical or complicated matter and pass on insights, data, statistics, etc. We have a number of guiding requirements when we are designing this type of presentation. One, we need to develop flexibility in making complex material simple and understandable. We often work inside our own mental framework where we know what we're talking about. Assume that's the same for everyone listening. We need to step outside our bubble and see the content from the audience's point of view. How can we deliver the message in a way which will overcome their barriers to understanding? How can we communicate in a way which makes the subject seem simple to grasp? Number two, we must seek ways to communicate the information in an interesting manner. Storytelling is brilliant for making dry facts and figures spring to life and attain a relevancy which appeals to our listeners. We should definitely never resort to speaking in a brutal monotone when delving into the bloody entrails of the subject. Voice modulation, pauses, and hitting keywords harder than others will provide the light and shade needed to create variety in the delivery, making it easier for everyone to follow our key messages. Number three, let's relate to the audience at their level. Uh, this can be tricky because there is really the same level of expertise in the room. We have to aim for the lowest common denominator and speak at that level without alienating the actual experts in attendance. 
Number four, we must follow a logical progression of ideas. Otherwise, the complexity of the subject will lose members of the audience. It's hard enough to deal with difficult subjects without making the delivery hard to follow as well. Find out more. We come back from the break. Our show today is brought to you by our public programs, but we also do custom-made in-house classes. Now, we do them in our super safe classroom. We do them live online, and we do them in Japanese, and we do them in English. Our show today is brought to you by, on the 2nd of February, we'll have our Dale Carnegie course. On the 8th of February, we'll have Confident English. On the 14th of February, Leadership Training for Managers. On the 16th of February, we'll have a three-day version of the Dale Carnegie course. Check out our website at www.dale, D-A-L-E hyphen, Carnegie, C-A-R-N-E-G-I-E dot C-O dot J-P. Lots and lots of value for you there. Now, to do better in Japan, email me at greg.story at dalecarnegie.com. You can buy best-selling books, Japan Sales Mastery. That's the Bible for selling in Japan. And Japan Business Mastery and my new book, Japan Presentations Mastery. If you like learning by watching videos, there are over a thousand there for you at Tokyo Japan Dale Carnegie TV on YouTube. We release three TV shows every week on YouTube. The Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, which is the premier business show in Japan, comes out Mondays. Fridays, the Japan Business Mastery Show. And Saturdays, Japan's top business interviews. Where I interview leaders in Japan from SMEs all the way up to the corporate captains of industry on one topic, leading in Japan. Every second Thursday, we release the Business Pro TV show. Don't forget, you can email me at greg.story at dalecarnegie.com. Welcome back. Number five. We shouldn't forget to develop emotional contact with the audience. Well-designed visuals can connect to everyone's emotions. Like storytelling, the slides can bring a dry idea to life and make it compelling. Showing the results before and after in visual form, especially using photos, is powerful and convincing. Importantly, we must have one idea per slide as our standard, to make sure the audience can understand the point of the slide in just two seconds. Number six, as always, when thinking about how to approach the nitty gritty of the talk, we begin by designing our two closes. What is the key information we wish to inform our audience about? We must work hard to strip this down to the minimum number of words required because that will aid gaining clarity. The second close, can just be a repeat of the first clause, or we could express the key point in a different way. Number seven, now we work on the core message. Depending on the length of the talk, we will build a certain number of chapters, each of which provides the evidence and proof to back up what we're telling everyone about our subject. Number eight, finally, we design the opening. In the case of complex information, we can use an analogy How does this work? An analogy is very useful. We're trying to explain complex concepts in a simple manner. We're comparing the similarities of two dissimilar things. For example, designing the corporate strategy is like ordering a gelato. In this example, there's nothing similar between designing corporate strategy and ice cream. We are taking two dissimilar things and connecting them to make a point. Number nine, having stated the analogy, we now have to explain what we mean so that the audience can get the point. We continue. 
When we order the gelato, we hope this is going to be what we want and will give us the flavor and taste outcome we want. But no matter how good it looks in the refrigerated cabinet in the store, we won't know the truth until we actually taste it. This is the same with corporate strategy. It may look perfect on paper, and the design seems to make logical sense. But we won't know if it works until we apply it. Obviously, this is the design stage, where we start with the end. But in fact, we're going to deliver the talk in this order. Analogy. Analogy explanation. Main body. Close number one. Transition to Q&A. Close number two. Whenever we have a complex subject to present, we need to approach it differently from our usual garden variety talks. The basics don't change. We need a good design and an excellent delivery, but the mindset needs some revision before we begin the process. If we do this, then our talk will be well received and we will continue to build our personal and professional brands. Thank you for joining the Presentations Japan series. If you got value from today's show, spread the love around and share it with your family, friends, and colleagues. Don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast. Immediately apply what you have learned today. Use it and go out there and become a presentations legend. Remember, I'm your corporate coaching and training guy in your corner, committed to your success here in Nippon. Nippon.